Hi, this is a video on medical simulations in the virtual world of Second Life. My name is John Miller. I'm a member of Movers, a company that creates simulations in virtual worlds. And I'm also an RN, a nursing instructor at Tacoma Community College. Here I'm on the island of Evergreen, which is owned by the state of Washington. And we have an orientation area here where new students and new faculty come in and learn how to use Second Life. And here's our hospital. First, I'm going to wash my hands. Then I'm going to start the simulation, attach the monitor. There you can see the ECG and the vital signs. I'm going to look at the patient information from the chart. Now I'm looking at the medical orders. I'm going to ask the patient a few questions. I'm running my avatar with the use of the arrow buttons on my keyboard as well as typing in some chat. So I'm asking the patient, can you rate the pain? And the, pain, the patient says it's a 7, says the pain's under his breastbone, and his left arm hurts also. Also asking him if he's having any problems breathing. and whether or not he's nauseous, and he denies both of those. So I'm going to start an IV, give him some medications. Here I'm starting the oxygen flow, setting it up to 4 liters. You can see the oxygen was recorded in the chat, so there's a permanent record of it. put some gloves on out of my inventory and click on the medication dispenser get my normal saline bag click on the IV pump You see an, an IV bag appear with some tubing, and you see in the chat that normal saline was hung at 75 mLs per hour.
I just gave the patient some nitroglycerin, 0 0.4 milligrams, sublingually. We got some lab tests sent. The results back are an elevated troponin as well as an elevated CKMB. There can be more than one avatar performing this simulation at the same time. The patient is a bot. It's run on an automatic program. So students can come in and actually work with the patient without an instructor. The patient's having better, feeling a lot better, and they want to go home. Chest pain's gone. The garbage can, the sharps container, the defibrillator in this picture are all interactive. As well as the lab specimen collection device is also interactive. Now the patient is having more chest pain. Their heart rate has increased to, to a very fast rate. Their oxygen saturation has dropped, rating the chest pain at a 10 now. So the nurse is going to give some morphine and start a nitro drip. Going back into the medication dispenser to get the morphine. Selecting a route for the morphine. And there you see in the chat that the morphine has been given. Getting rid of the syringe from the morphine into the sharps container. The nitro drip was started. Patient says that they feel better now. This presentation was brought to you by Movers.